Good morning, Greater Light Trove from the WCAT-TV studio. I'm Alexis Knoll alongside Emma Yurick. Coming up in today's show, reporter Joe Coletti highlights a student in our one-minute documentary series, The Mr. Lacasio Scholarship Applications Are Due, and reporter Brianna Vesley highlights one of our students in today's Student Spotlight. All this and more on your WCAT-TV News. A reminder for seniors to apply for the Mr. Stephen Lacasio Memorial Scholarship Opportunity. Applications are due today in the Guidance Office. If you are a senior who is planning to major in education, you are eligible to apply for the GLEA scholarship. Look for your application information on the Guidance Office scholarship site. Please see Mrs. Kubis if you have any questions, and be sure to turn in your application form to her in room H108 by the end of the day, Wednesday, April 26th. In addition, many more scholarships are coming into the Guidance Office at this time. Please check the district scholarship page regularly. Rising juniors and rising seniors who plan to pursue a career in aviation are encouraged to attend an upcoming informational meeting about the High School Aviation Academy offered through the Community College of Beaver County, which will be offered through Greater La Trobe next school year. Students who enroll in the program will attend classes virtually and earn up to 28 credits that can be applied towards an associate's degree in professional pilot, air traffic control, or aerospace management. Families interested in learning more about the CCBC High School Aviation Academy should plan to attend one of the following informational sessions, Thursday, April 13th from 6 to 6.30 p.m. or Friday, April 14th from 9 to 9.30 a.m. in the CSC. Let's get a check on the weather. We go to Ariel Teppert for your three-day forecast. Good morning, Wildcats, and welcome back from spring break. Today's weather consists of sunny, partly cloudy skies with a high of 71 and a low of 34. Tomorrow's skies are sunny with a high of 70 and a low of 49. Lastly, Friday's skies are sunny with a high of 70 and a low of 54. That's all for your three-day forecast. Thanks, and back to you. Thanks, Ariel. The 2023 Leadership Westmoreland Youth Academy is a five-day leadership development program offered June 19th through the 23rd. It is designed to introduce students to leadership concepts that provide interaction with local business, government, and community leaders. Participants should be sophomores, juniors, and seniors in September with a GPA of at least 2.5. To apply, students must complete the application and submit the requested documents before April 28th. Please email Mrs. Yetter for a link to the application. We will be back after this message. Calling all upcoming juniors and seniors, it is time again to sign up for next year's Link Crew. Link Crew is a peer mentoring and high school transition program that helps freshmen feel welcome and comfortable during their first year of high school. If you are interested in applying to being a Link Leader, please check your school email for the link to the online application. The high school weight room is open for all students to lift after school on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays from 3 to 5, beginning April 13th. If you have any questions, feel free to contact Mrs. Fry in A4. We go to Jacob Kramer for the Wildcat Sports Report. Good morning, Wildcats. Today, the softball team has a home game against Franklin Regional at 3.30 p.m. Then there is a varsity track meet at 4 p.m. at home versus Indiana. Finally, the boys baseball team has a home game at 7.30 p.m. versus Ringgold. In national sports news in the NHL, there are three games. Headlining the night is the San Jose Sharks in Calgary against the Flames at 9 p.m. In the MLB, there are 15 games. Headlining the night is the Pirates versus Houston Astros at home at 7 p.m. That's all for sports news. Thanks and back to you. Thanks, Jacob. Broadcast and Video Production 2 students have created one-minute documentaries based on the 60-second doc series. Here is a video created by Joe Coletti. My name is Richard Hillig and I'm an intern with the Wildcats Network. So I work on uh, projects, interviews, uh, segments, you know, wherever is time necessary. Um, if we're doing a game on Thursday, I try to get it done by the day before or the day of. So uh, yeah, I try to have at least one interview or project for each game that we do. Um, each event that we cover, so um, it's definitely time oriented. I'd say the best part of the job is definitely the people that you meet along the way. Getting the experience and wanting to learn more um, about what goes into sports. I'm always a big sports fanatic. I definitely think it's going to help me because it gives me an idea of what to expect in my future. 
Uh, and if this is what I want to do in my future, I know what I have to do in order to be successful and you know, you know, continue working hard and you know, creating the best possible content I can. I'd say my favorite sport is probably basketball because uh, you know, while I'm not always on air for basketball, uh, you know, just the thrill of the game, it definitely takes in at that moment. Wondering what's on the menu today? Here is Taryn Yotzi with What's Cooking. What's cooking, Latrobe? Today is Wednesday, April 12th, and today in the main line, they have a barbecue rib sandwich with crunchy tater tots and green beans. Tomorrow, they will have chicken with homemade rice and broccoli florets. The sandwich options are hamburger, cheeseburger, and chicken patty. The pizza options are homemade cheese and pepperoni pizza. The grab-and-go bar has fresh salads and deli hoagies. The soup of the day is beef noodle. That's what's cooking. Thanks, and back to you. It's not every day a new NCAA varsity sports are added. One student in our school has the chance to experience a new team. Here is reporter Brianna Vesley with today's Student Spotlight. Michaela McLean has been involved in cheerleading since she was in first grade and is an all-star cheerleader at Cheer Tricks Athletics in Indiana. Now, she's among the first to compete on the new Mercy Hurst stunt team with a scholarship. Stunt is fairly new still as an addition to cheer for the sport, so to know how rapidly growing cheer is in general, it's really exciting to know that I will be able to help expand that branch of cheer and to hopefully inspire other girls and upcoming girls to want to try out. Stunt is a head-to-head -head game between two teams who execute skill-based routines in various categories. Those include partner stunts, jumps, tumbling, pyramids, tosses, and team routines. Mercyhurst is the first Pennsylvania college to offer the NCAA stunt. Michaela will travel to schools such as Ashland and Davenport University to compete. Though Michaela's sport enables her to travel all around, her inspiration started here in Latrobe. The high school girls are definitely who inspired me to cheer the most. I remember watching them as a little girl throwing cool stunts, tossing the girls in the air really high, and throwing really cool tumbling passes. It really just inspired me to want to do it. Michaela has won many titles, including a national championship, as well as finishing seventh at the All-Star World Championship in 2022. Competing in these high-stake events requires Michaela to manage her nerves and stress going into competitions. I try not to think about too many things at once, because if so, I will get overwhelmed, and it'll take me longer to push through whatever that may be. Michaela plans to study nursing while at Mercyhurst and become a neonatal nurse. Her passion, hard work, and positive attitude will lead her to a successful future. Are you interested in working for the Greater Latrobe School District this summer? Hours are Monday through Friday from 7 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. This is a 10-week program, but hours are flexible if you already have previous plans. All applicants must have working papers, and anyone 18 years of age or older must have clearances. Work includes general cleaning, moving furniture, light maintenance, and groundskeeping. The pay rate is $10.50 per hour. If you are interested, please see Mrs. Yetter for an application form and return to the facilities operations and planning department at the administration office or email your information to amy.sassos at glsd.us by Wednesday, April 3rd to be approved at the May 17th school board meeting. Thanks for tuning in to this edition of WCAT-TV News. Have a great day, Latrobe. We are GL. Go Wildcats!